damn cat claw. What's new? <laughs> damn. All right, so I made my way down to anyway. just outside the confluence and just as it's bending from the uh, hillsides. So the water is going to be churning up a lot, but then it's going to it'll slide down here but it'll pop up over here and it looks like that's what's happened so i'm going to work i'm going to get down get all this overburden out and then i'm going to hit the, the as soon as i hit hard pack i'm going to start taking that material and it's going to have to be a, a tough hard pack where i have difficulty breaking it up and uh we'll see and then i'm going to go down further and check a couple of other spots and all right, so Just right bag here, everything up. this is kind of a schisty funk zone. Yeah, it looks like there's some stuff I'm able to bust up, and it looks like it's could be basement material. Got some nice looking colors in the soil, and this is a little drop. This way, I'll I can clean a couple of them. Start to do now. I'll do this and flip it. Then I've got the layer that's sitting right on the rock, so that's pretty cool. So I'm getting the bottom of the bottom, and this is where it contacts the rock, which is decomposing granite. So I do the best I can. And, uh, hell, we'll see. It's like a jungle in here. <laughs> but you can see that I filled this in. And I won't forget it. There's some pretty good markers here. But I did get it off the base layer, so... Alright, you can see this, this section. Goes. And you can see how this is... I don't know, it's a lot of broken up material. It's kind of a rough cobble, but it's been cemented together. And it juts out into the creek. So I think what I want to do... I want to look around down in here. And... uh and just work to about midway up. And maybe the top, I've actually found gold right on a high spot, something like this before. And you can see there's a lot of interesting material and it's completely different to where we were just digging. So you can see what I've done here. This stuff just, you know, kind of breaks up on the rock. gets hard real quick but man there could be a lot of fine gold in it you never know so I'm gonna go ahead and get as much as I can close as I can there bedrock and we'll see yeah so this is it's got a lot of a lot of funk in it. Then stuff might have rolled down the sides and uh, ended up in there as well. I don't know. We'll see. That's a crapshoot. So I'm walking down a road right now and. That's really interesting looking stuff, you know. In fact, I may I may take a little from here. It looks like there was like a little vortex and some material might be uh, worth looking at. So if you continue to follow this, look what this turns into. Damn. I should have walked down here earlier. And it looks like this is part of a was part of a road for a while. Look at that, it just drops. 
precipitously and then look at down there it just drops again very very cool but if we look at this oh, i wish i had a vacuum but i'd like to remove see how that rock look at how it's fracturing i'd like to get all the material in between it and i think that's going to be my last project yeah this is really cool over here well i should have brought a brush but I guess what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pull these rocks out. This is all like little crevices. And then I'm going to like sweep them off with my glove. And that's all I can do right now. So. so this is sort of like crevicing in a way. Yeah, this is working out okay. Some of it's really on there. Yeah, that's the stuff I really want. Very cool. Okay, that one's pretty clean. And like... Oh, you can see all that material. It's coming out. Ah. Hey, check it out. Just get it in that bag and use your tools best you can. These rocks are actually fairly heavy too. Okay, cool. That one will be well enough. All right. So I'm going to do this for a little bit, and we will luck out. Uh, it's time to head out, and look at that desert, man. It is healthy. Yeah, just the stands of cactus.